How's it going guys? Welcome to Tech Pro HQ. In today's video, we're going to go over how to deploy a Windows Server 2022 box on a Nutanix environment on Prism Central. All right, let's jump on over to the computer and let's get started. Head over and hit the three little icons that look like a hamburger, hit the VM, and then hit create VM. Give your VM a name. I'm calling mine golden image and in the description. I will also do the same and then select your cluster. And then I am going to start with four cores and four gigs of memory because this can change once you deploy it as a template. Go ahead and head over and attach a storage disk. I'm doing 100 gigabytes and then I'm going to do two attached disk, both CD ROMs. One will be um, an image or an ISO of the Windows OS. And the other is going to be a ISO of the vert IO drivers 1.2.1. You're going to need these to load up the drivers. And then this will probably, this is going to be different depending on what you're doing. We have a server VLAN in this case, and we're going to select that and make sure it's connected so we can get to the internet. We're going to select UEFI BIOS mode. If you don't know what that is, look into it. It's a secure method. And then we're going to do secure boot. And then go ahead and click, click next. And then next, uh, your time zone for this specific case, it's going to be in Chicago. And then um, we're not going to do any type of custom scripts here. Hit next, but you have the option to. Here you get a summary and a review and click create. This will take a few seconds, but then you can go over to your golden image. Um, go ahead and power on the VM. And then head over to console. This will take a few seconds. Click any key to get into the Microsoft operating system setup wizard. Hit next. Go ahead and click install. And then go ahead and select your operating system. This may look different depending on the ISO that you used. Go ahead and hit next. Go ahead and accept the licensing terms and then go to the custom install. You'll see that nothing's here because we still have to load the drivers. Click on load drivers, browse to the CD that you loaded when you created the VM, scroll down, select the Windows server, select X64, and um, highlight all the drivers and hit next. And now you'll see the drive. We're gonna exit here because there was an issue going on with the Windows Microsoft Server 2022 installation. In short, what's happening is the recovery partition is being put at the end of the disk, which will not allow you to expand your VM and eventually you will need to expand it. Um, so we started with the 100 gigs and if we want to expand in the future, we're going to want to be able to do that. So what we need to do is move that recovery partition to the front. I've tried to do it through the wizard and it failed. So this is how I accomplished this and it worked. So go ahead and hit repair to your computer. You're going to go to troubleshoot and you're going to hit the command prompt. You're going to hit disk part, and once you're in disk part, you can go ahead and select your disk, which is usually disk zero. Um, if you're not sure, you can, hit lit, you can type out list disk, which will show you which disks are online. And then we're going to convert it to GPT. You'll see there that there's no asterisk, but after we list the disk again, now there is. So now it's been converted to GPT. If you're unsure of your partitions, do a little research and figure it out. Now click create, uh, next you're gonna type create partition primary and we're gonna make it 450 megabytes. And then we're gonna format it quick with the file system of NTFS. And then the last thing is to give it a label so you know what it's labeled in the computer um, management under the disk drives and we're going to call it recovery that completed successfully then we're going to do the same thing here 
or actually the next step here is to give it a specific ID and this ID has to be the same. So type this out. If you got to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. You're going to do set ID with these specific characters. Then you'll hit enter. You should get a success message that the partition ID was created. Next we'll do GPT attributes and we are going to do 0, X, 8, followed by a bunch of zeros on one. If you need to pause the video, go ahead to count how many zeros that is. You should get a successful message. Then you're going to do create partition EFI. Size is going to be 100 megs. So we'll just put 100. And then for the um, formatting, we're going to do format quick. File system is going to be FAT32. And then we're going to give it a label. And we're going to call this one system. So this is the boot partition that boots up into Windows. Finally, we're going to do the Windows partition where the OS will live. So we're going to do create partition, primary, and we're going to give it no size so it takes up the rest of the drive. Then we're going to do format, quick, file system, NTFS. We're going to label it Windows so you know what it um, is inside of the disk management. And then after that, you're going to exit, exit, and then everything's been written to the drive. You're going to power it off. And now <clears throat> we're going to power it back on and we're going to go back into Windows as if we're going to reinstall it. So we're going to go to the console here, give it a few seconds, press any key to boot, select Windows Setup. And now we're going to run through the wizard. You'll notice here, once we get to the install, that the drivers are missing again. So let's go ahead and select our OS. Accept the terms. Custom install. And now you got to reload those drivers. Browse again over to the CD. Go to Windows Server 2022 that or whatever version you have x64 hit ok let's highlight all the drivers hit next and then this is the important part we want to select the windows partition that's 99 gigs here the last one and then we're going to click next and it's going to install by the beautiful magic of editing it's going to speed up here and it's going to install all right once it reboots We'll go ahead and log in and double check our work. Okay, so when you're now booted up into Windows, go ahead and give yourself a administrative passcode. All right. Now let's log in with that passcode and we are good to go. Allow this to be shareable. I don't want any firewall rules enabled. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna do computer management and then we're gonna go to disk management and you should see it in the correct order. Recovery, boot, and windows. So that is correct. Close that out. I'm going to go enable remote desktop for this because I need to go in and do work and it's just easier to do it on my machine. Then the console, head it over to the settings, looking for remote desktop and I'm enabling it. And that's it. Go ahead and test that you're able to get in. Last thing now is to make sure you remove those CD 
um, loaded disk if you don't want them. So I'm going to head back over to the Nutanix portal. And now I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to click update. Make sure it's powered off first. I'm going to click update and go through the wizard. Here you can update the cores and memory if you want. Click next. And these are the two disks I was referring to. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them and hit next and finish. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to eventually create a template off of this. So you can find that in our other video. Um, and we don't want those to be part of the template. And that's how you deploy a Windows Server 2022 in Nutanix, making sure you're able to expand the partition. And if you want to know how to create a template next, go ahead and look in the description and there'll be a link to that video. And if you like this kind of content and you want more technical stuff, and if you want more tech videos on things we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. As everyone always says, it helps us out. It really does as we try to grow this. Thanks, and you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.